When it comes to slider plugins in WordPress, Slider Revolution is one of the most popular ones that you can use. According to its website, there are over 9 million users worldwide, and we happen to be one of them. The animations are nice and smooth, and it is a very modern looking plugin. But depending on which font color you're using and which images you're using, it can kind of be hard to read the text. That's why in this WordPress tutorial, we're going to show you how to add a black semi-transparent layer behind the text to make it pop and make it easier to read. So once we're logged into WordPress, we'll head on over to Slider Revolution in the left-hand menu. From there, under Search Modules, you will see a list of all of your different sliders. In our case, we only have the one, so we'll go ahead and hit the Edit icon. That's going to open up our slider onto the first slide. And just like on the live website, you can see that it is hard to read the white font on the yellow Lamborghini. So let's go up to Add Layer and select Shape. That's going to add an already semi-transparent shape to our slider where we can drag a corner to resize the shape. But of course, that's kind of tedious and there's definitely an easier way of doing this. We're gonna head on over to size and position over on the right-hand side of the screen. And then about halfway down the screen, we have size presets. We're just going to click on the drop-down menu and select cover. As you can see, this only covers part of the slider, which really isn't ideal. So there is a second part to this. We have to go to layer align and select scene. Now the semi-transparent shape covers the entire slider, which is exactly what we want. Now, one thing we don't want is for the shape to be on top of the text, which it currently is. So we're gonna head on down to our layers down at the bottom and then simply drag the shape down behind the text. There we go, the text is now on top of the black, which makes it much, much easier to read. Now, if you are finding that it's either too light or too dark, you can modify that as well. All we have to do is head on over to style and then click on BG color. From there, we can play around with the transparency. And if you wanna change the color altogether, you can do that as well. So let's say you wanted a red tint, you can change it to red and then play around with the transparency again. I'm going to change it back to black and then play around with the transparency one more time and then save again down in the bottom right-hand corner. You do also have the option to preview your slider, although it's not going to show you things like the menu across the top. So once we're done previewing, we'll go ahead and close that down. And then we're going to go back to our website and refresh the page. After refreshing the page, you really can notice the difference between the before and the after. The text is much easier to read. So again, we'll look at the before and the after. But you may have noticed that we only did the first slide so far. So we have to go back to WordPress to apply the same changes to the second slide. Now, instead of doing it completely from scratch, we're going to copy over the shape that we made on the first slide and then paste it onto the second. We'll start off by making sure that the layer is selected and then we'll go up to the top and hit copy. Then I'm going to hover over slides and select the second slide at the bottom. And then all we have to do is hit paste and our shape along with all of its settings will be applied to this slide. Just like we did for the first slide, we're gonna have to put the shape behind the text. And we'll do that by dragging and dropping the layer itself. Once we're done, we'll hit save and go on back to the website to test it out one last time. After refreshing the page, we can see the first slide that we saw before, but this time we can see the second slide. And this one was almost more important because we couldn't read the text across the top menu. And it was also hard to make out the social media icons because the white blended into the picture. So as you can see, it really does make a big difference. That's it for this WordPress tutorial. You now know how to add a semi-transparent background behind the text in the Slider Revolution plugin, which makes it much easier for your website visitors to read the text. For more tutorials, definitely subscribe to the eStore Kings YouTube channel and check out eStoreKings.com.